to-do lists are what we use to keep track of all the tasks that we have to do, whether creative, productive, or not any of the two. But sometimes to-do lists get really frustrating and overwhelming. Sometimes because we've created overwhelming to-do lists, and it's not our fault, but because we know that people expect much from us, so we decide that we are going to create to-do lists which have tasks that are really huge and sometimes it gets overwhelming and we end up procrastinating because we we'll, we are really tired of do, of trying to complete lists that seem impossible to us but in today's video i'm going to, I'm going to mention four ways in which you can deal with overwhelming to-do lists starting right now the first step is to slow down and actually look at the tasks one by one so when you look all, when you look at all the tasks and and view them as they are because when there are very many well you'll first of all get discouraged and feel like you cannot actually complete all any of the tasks but when you try to look at them one by one and you try completing all the tasks one by one you will be able to complete them slowly by slowly but also in in the end you have completed all the tasks Number two is to use subtasks. So this helps well to break down the tasks. If you have a really huge task and there are many there are many steps that are required in order to complete the task, you can break down the task into different subtasks so that when you when all the subtasks are completed, the whole task is there for all the whole task is completed. And subtasks can also help to reduce that being overwhelmed of a really huge task because sometimes you may not know what to do next. But when you put it down into subtasks, you you will slowly by slowly check all the subtasks that you have to do, and in the end you'll have completed that that task. Number three is to arrange according to priorities. So when you arrange according to priorities from the highest priority to the lowest priority, you'll find that the ones with the highest priority are usually pressure, pressuring or overwhelming. But when you begin with those really huge tasks and you go down, you'll have the motivation because, well, you've finished all these big tasks and you're going down to the small tasks, which means you'll be able to complete all the small tasks even much faster because you've already completed all the huge tasks. And the last one is to show up to do the work. Well, even though these are to do this, they're not going to do themselves. So you just have to show up and to do the work even though you don't want and just have the discipline to actually get started on your to-do list even though it is really overwhelming. And I hope all these four ways can help with how with helping you with all the overwhelming to-do lists that you have. But another thing that I wanted to add is that you should you should not create that you should not create to do this according to what people expect of you but according to what you expect of yourself and what you can handle so if you create overwhelming to do this because of what people think of what people expect of you you will be overwhelmed because you don't want to let them down but when you create according to what you know you can do it will be actually much less overwhelming and you'll be able to complete all those tasks that you have so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.